What's going on guys, Sean Pierce here. Uh, if you're watching this video, you're interested in getting your tragus done and figuring out how it's supposed to get done, I'm gonna explain to you what you should see when you go to the tattoo shop, um, given the fact that not all tattoo shops are experienced in piercing, so I want you to make sure that what you see is the proper way to do it. Um, if you don't see one of these things being done the proper way, uh, say something, speak up. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is go over here, look at the tray. This is all the different stuff that you're gonna need, okay? The piercer's gonna need a forceps, a receiving tube, a canola needle, alcohol swab, um, some petroleum jelly, a couple of cotton swabs. Um, the post that you're initially gonna get pierced with is gonna be a little bit longer, okay? Because your tragus will probably wind up swelling, all right? So don't, uh, don't be alarmed if it looks too big in the back. After about eight weeks, you can switch it out with a shorter one. So right now we're going to go ahead and prepare to pierce the tragus. Also, just uh, while I'm getting ready, just to give you guys uh, an idea, about 70% of tattoo shops out there are not experienced and are not licensed to pierce. You guys need to make sure you do your research before going to get a piercing, okay? Some places think that you can just stick a needle inside of somebody and they're pierced. It doesn't work that way. If the right size jewelry is not used. If it's pierced in the wrong place, there's a lot of damage that can be done. So check out a different places reviews. Check out the piercer's page. You know, see if there's pictures of the piercing so you can see that it's been done before. Just make sure you do your research. Don't just trust them just because it's a tattoo shop. Now the first thing that they should always be doing is cleaning your ear, the area that's gonna be done. So we're gonna use an alcohol swab, clean the front, the back. A little bit of ointment should be used. This way it helps the needle slide through nice and easy. Now I know in some of my other videos I've explained to what this needle is before. This is called a canola needle. Okay, anytime jewelry is inserted from behind, this is the best needle that should be used. What it does is it goes through and then it leaves a nice little sleeve of plastic so that you can insert the jewelry and push it in from behind. Touch it just a little bit, perfect. Nice big breath in. And big breath out. Good job. Now this is a sleeve of plastic. This is the jewelry right here. So it'll wind up going right in. Push it right through. And that's it. We'll put the ball on top. And that is your tragus piercing. Okay. Now, as far as aftercare for the tragus. Okay. I want you to make sure you get yourself a mild soap. Dove sensitive skin is the best soap to get. All right, you're gonna wash it once a day. You also need to get yourself some sort of salt, salt water solution, any type of aftercare. You can get Dr. Pierce, McNeil's wound wash, or saline solution. You're gonna use that three times a day. For the first two weeks, do not sleep on the side you got pierced on. If you sleep on that side, it's probably gonna swell up. If you have any questions, any concerns at all, you can reach me at underscore Sean Pierce. Um, that's it. I didn't do my, I should have done my little.